So again, for this week's homework, again, you're going to preview something at home before we do it in class. So obviously, this project we're starting today, you have until next week, Wednesday, to complete. Along with it is the next homework, which allows you to practice what we call the subtractive technique. So what I'm doing right now is just putting a layer of charcoal on my paper, and I'm blending it out, kind of smoothing it in, just with a piece of paper towel. You could use a piece of fabric if you wanted to. I usually put three layers of charcoal applied and then smoothed to make this work. You want your paper to be dark, but not absolutely jet black. You want it in the middle of the value scale, but the darker end of the middle of the scale. That's pretty good right there. So what you're going to do is darken your whole paper and do your drawing by using an eraser. So it's sort of the reverse of what we just did. You started with white paper and we added black marks onto it. With this one, you're going to start by making the paper dark and pulling out the lighter tone. So I'm just going to very quickly give you a little spear. Instead of just going around the outside and making a circle first, I'm going to try to make the shape and the contour simultaneously. Can you see how that's starting to emerge? It's a spherical form. And because we've got this background behind it that's already dark, it makes the thing start to look more three-dimensional right away. So you're going to do most of your work on that homework with the eraser. I would average out and say like two-thirds maybe up to three quarters, right? Like 75%. But then inevitably you're going to need some shadows, right? If I've got this strong light coming from my light side, I should have a shadow over here, right? On my right. So I'm going to go in and add my cast shadow on the ground by adding in a little bit of value. And I can add some to the dark side of my sphere. So I'm doing 75% erasing, 25% adding. So that's the concept for homework five. Remember, there's only nine of them, so you don't really have all that many to do. But this is project five, what we're starting today, the additive charcoal. It goes with homework five, you're practicing with the subtractive charcoal. Both of those are due next week, Wednesday. This week, Wednesday, you're turning in your cross hatching and the charcoal drapery study. So make sure and get those in. I haven't double checked to see if anybody's early yet, but as soon as you can get those JPEGs in, would be awesome. We are getting really close to the end of time. We've only got about five minutes. If you want to borrow or take to use at home, charcoal, paper, erasers, go for it. Um, if you are covered in charcoal mess, you probably want to wash up. That big container of soap that says hand and brush on it is really good for getting gritty, gross, sticky things off, so it'll help get the charcoal off. Um, don't worry about spraying off the tables. I'll do that before the next class comes in. But we should probably stop now and start cleaning up.